Hey guys, Philippe here. So um, today I'm doing the um, well fairly requested Ollie debug tutorial, and I'm going to start off by um, well just telling you a few things. So basically, I am by no means an expert at this. I uh, I found out a few tutorials on how to do stuff, and they were fairly basic. And about halfway through those tutorials, I just scrapped it and I started getting a hang of it. I'm sure you guys will too. And I just started doing things my own way. So what I can't guarantee is this is the best way of doing it now I haven't found a better way of doing it after searching for it but this is the way I do it so if any of you know any better ways then leave a comment whatever letting other people know about those uh, but for me these work fairly well and um, like I said I'm not incredibly experienced at this I've just been doing this for a while and uh, this is how I get my addresses so what we're going to start off by doing is loading a salt cube so um, this one might be a bit of a slow tutorial because I'm starting from scratch. I've got no notes for the tutorial, and that's the whole point. The whole point is for us to get our addresses. So we start off the game and stuff. That's fine. Um, and first thing we need to do, right? I've I've got a list of steps here um, that uh, we're going to use for. I mean, feel free to download this in the description because it's fairly useful stuff. And uh, these are the steps we're going to use to um, find our um, what's it called? Find our our addresses and instructions on all the <clears throat> so just bear with me and hopefully you get the hang of it pretty quickly so usually what I do right th and this is I wrote this down myself because that's the way I do it and like I said there might be other ways and better ways of doing it but this is how I do it and it works pretty well without much effort really um, the whole point of this is just basically we grab our address once we got our address we don't really care about anything else all right? but in the meantime there will be a lot of trial and error until we get that address so first thing we want to do is we're going to find the address through cheat engine so let's load up cheat engine all right, that's the first step and you guys have done this with me before so let's just get that um, attach it to a salt cube AC client so some of this cheat engine stuff I'm not going to go over it because it's really basic and I've taught you guys this before so um, first thing I want to look for is the amount of rounds we have left so uh, I've got seven for example I'm going to look for them and what I'm going to go through today is the ammo related ones which is mainly um, we're going to go through finding rapid fire, recoil um, changing automatic weapons into uh, semi-automatics into automatics like a pistol become automatic and just those steps and um, with this you can hack other games like Call of Duty and all that other good stuff um, because those are the same steps I took so we look for six we take a shot we now look for, s uh, for sorry we looked for seven now we look for six and I know it's the top one but let's just dim it down a little bit more and there you go so as usual we just modify this for a second let's put ten to make sure and there it is so that's our, our one so then we do we right click and we say find out what writes to this address and this would give us the address in memory on Ollie so so we go there instructions have you take a couple of shots and there you go <coughs> as you'll probably notice uh, it says there here so I will try and go through a little bit of the basic assembly that you need to know for this because I'm assuming a fair amount of you um, won't know what how assembly works and I didn't I didn't understand very much I mean I don't understand it thoroughly yet but um, I understand it enough to do these things and um, I didn't about four weeks ago so you know I've had to read a couple of tutorials and crap like that but what we're then going to do is going to say um, deck um, yeah so it says deck so we store this address here so let's open a notepad for example so we can put our address there so we can search on our these so 45 uh, B 75 F 45B75F. Now if you're doing this for your own game, of course the address will be different. But you are probably looking at something like sub or a deck. If it's not working, it might be a move. It doesn't really matter too much. So we've got that address. I'm just gonna uh you can't attach Holly with cheat engine attached, so we're gonna have to unattach this and close it. Excuse me. Um so we're gonna go on Ollie. So there's Ollie. Uh, and then first thing we're going to go and do, I mean, you better get used to this because we'll have to do it a lot um, as when doing this and when looking for addresses there's always going to be crashes and we're going to have to restart the game and stuff so just got to get used to that. So where's AC client? Make sure it's AC client and not uh, just a soul cube like this one because it's the command prompt window. 
that comes with the game. So we attach it, and first thing you notice is the game is locked up. You've seen that before, hopefully, on my other tutorials. Um, and of course, I'm doing this by quite a big. Uh, well, I didn't think there'd be there'd be this many people requesting it so quickly. So that's good, guys. That you you're interested in this. That's a good thing because then you can hack your own games quite nicely, hopefully. So we found this deck. So um, one thing I mentioned on these notes here is that. Um, Comments are very important, without a doubt. They're very important, and um, you. There's. I don't see any other way of doing this without leaving some comments whilst you're doing it, unless you're really experienced and you know exactly where everything is. So I'm going to leave a few comments here. So um, decrements ammo, and you can f confirm this by changing the deck into an ink. So go deck ink. So obviously deck is decrement and ink is increment, as most of you know. So let's try and take a shot as you can see the ammo now goes up instead of going down so we confirmed our suspicion about the glory hole uh, so symbol that uh, decrement and that's great so uh, we know what happens there decrement sound that's fine so so we got now uh, yeah so um, we know that for a fact is there so first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna define where the um, function call starts relating to the ammo and where it ends so that way we create like a beginning so we say this is where it starts so we're gonna have to do a couple of checks to find out where it starts and then um, where it finishes and then we're gonna go all the way from top to bottom to find out exactly which instructions do what so what we do is we slowly just move up a couple and go breakpoint hardware and execution and now we take a shot and if your game gets paused it's because uh, that has something to do with the uh, with the gunshot basically it's got something to do so then you go breakpoint and remove breakpoint and we keep going up do, 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 do. let's go a couple up I don't know exactly where it starts I, I removed all my comments just so hopefully I'll be up to speed with you guys so we're gonna put another one here take a shot um, it pauses great which means it keeps going up so this can get a bit tedious and hopefully this tutorial won't be too long but I'll try and get the grasp give you the grasp of most things that I understand. You gotta spam the button say to get out of this crap. <coughs> so breakpoint, so we've taken that off. Let's go up a little bit more. Uh, let's go to this one, move D word. So just a quick note, just because w the ammo decrements here doesn't mean it's the beginning of the um, gun function. Just because it led us here, it simply means that's where the ammo gets reduced. Maybe up here there's something that defines, maybe it says, if ammo is greater than zero, then allow the player to shoot. And there actually is, and I'll, f I'll show you in a minute when we find it. So let's just go a few up, just to make sure. Um, break point. Uh, and there we go, once again. So we know all these got something to do with it. And um, breakpoint, remove hardware breakpoint. Uh, and let's just go up a bit more. Let's go do this jump here, usually something related to jump. So let's go hardware and execution. And there you go, once again, it's got something to do with um, this. So let's breakpoint, remove hardware breakpoint. Um, and pause it once you've uh, got what you want. So um, unpause it. I mean, uh, so there's that. <coughs> So, actually, it's probably not the best idea. I'm going to move this over here because of the way the um, thing keeps popping up. Uh, so, yeah. What we now do is we just keep doing this until we find it. So, I don't have a clue where it actually is because I don't remember it from last time I found it. So, I'm just going to keep guessing. So, as you can see now, did I put a breakpoint there? Breakpoint. Yeah, so I put a breakpoint here and it didn't do anything, which means this function doesn't happen. So, did you see that? So, this function went into it once I ran out of ammo, which means it, it is related to ammo, but it doesn't have anything to do with... Um, it's It's got to do with not having any ammo in the clip. So, for example, if there's no ammo in the clip, then play the sound that, you know, the empty shotgun sound. And that's where it will be, something like that. We don't need to know exactly what it is, but it's something like that. So we'll go breakpoint, remove hardware breakpoint. Now we know by that we know that there's got to be a jump somewhere that doesn't include this. So maybe it's this one here. Uh, let's find out if this is some. Now, usually once we finish the hit the top and it says you know this function has nothing to do with it, and it doesn't 
trigger the breakpoint, as in it doesn't pause the game, then that usually means that's the end of it. But if it still triggers when you run out of ammo, which sometimes it will, I mean, you don't need to check that to be honest, you just need to try and make common sense out of this and see if a function jumps over that current instruction. You see, it's a little bit complicated, but I'll try and, like, I don't know, be a bit more. See, this one also will probably be related to the um, not having any ammo. So, we go here and remove that breakpoint. So, let's go a little bit higher. So, let me just have a look at this. Now, by looking at these, J short. Um, see, I see this here, and I'm going to tell you what this means. This means jump if not zero. Now, if I press enter here, let's see. You see where it takes me? You see where it takes me? You see? Um, so it's safe to say here it says if a if ammo is greater than zero. I mean, this is an assumption, and we'll have to make these along the way. So what we'll do is we'll we'll do what I do every time. So just go here, type the text here, and then go. Uh, let's double click on it and modify it, and go J. J means jump if it equals or is greater than, I think. I haven't got my notes on these here, but I think that's what it is. Feel free to Google that because you always find it. So as you can see, it doesn't let me shoot. And this is a good assumption we made because it, what it's saying is it's saying if the ammo is not... So if the ammo is not equal to zero, then we shoot. We allow the player to shoot. And what we've done is we said if the ammo is equal to zero, then allow the player to shoot. So if I had zero ammo, then I'd be allowed to shoot, but I don't. Now, obviously, that would cause other problems, but we're not worried about that. So, what this means, it means that this is where it checks for our ammo being ne um, zero. See, if the player's got ammo or not, and um, if he does, then it jumps to here. So, you press if you press enter on it, it tells you where it goes to, where the jump goes to, and it skips all these functions, all these instructions, and it goes to this here. So, let's return this back to zero. Make sure you know what you're doing. So, become that that was J E and we make it J N E again. Now if you get these wrong you're likely to crash and you're gonna have to come back into place to so try and be precise about them. Um so we're gonna write here, we're gonna write um check if ammo is available. Okay, so um yeah, and here CMP means compare, so it's comparing things and then it's doing the jump based on that compare. Alright, so we're going to go up uh, a little bit more, and I don't think there will be much more real regarding this. Um, let's go put a breakpoint here. Move harder, harder, rewind. And there we go, that also has something to do with it. So let's go here, breakpoint, remove hardware breakpoint. <laughs> that makes sense to me. Just trying to make sense of this. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's check check out this call. Let's keep going up until we found what we want. So hard run execution, and we take a shot. And also has something to do with it. So <coughs> let's go up. Do, 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 do. Every now and then, just go quite high, just to um, you know, because sometimes. See, this has nothing to do with it, as you can see. So let's now go down until we find the first function to do that. Now it's probably none of these. This is return here. So, um, so if you go here, breakpoint, our execution, and as you can see, it paused it immediately, right? And this means it's probably a function that's constantly looping. It doesn't have anything to do with. Our, so if it's not triggered during our shot, it means it's probably does. It's probably nothing to do with what we want. So it usually has to be triggered when we pull the trigger, <laughs> if that makes sense. So, so this has nothing to do with it, and we found. That, so we say, um, gun shooting starts here. So this is the beginning of our gun shooting, and now we're gonna find the end of it. All right, and this is only so we can basically go down until we find what we want. All right, so let's go down. Um, I'm gonna try speed this up because otherwise we're gonna be quite a while. So. <coughs> You see this return here, usually on a return here, it might often be the end of a thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight up to here and try this, see if this is the end of it. So breakpoint, pull the trigger, uh, that also has something to do with it, which is fine. Oops. Uh, go on breakpoint, remove the hardware breakpoint, and go on return. 
breakpoint. Now it's also likely, um, well, it's most probably um, going to be the case here. And I took a shot, right? 